The Dassault Neuron is being developed with the help of numerous nations, including France, Greece, Italy, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. It is a test-run unmanned combat aerial vehicle that can operate in battle areas with a medium to high threat level. It had the appearance of the original Dassault Grand Duke vehicle. It was transformed into a showcase for more compact single-engine technology due to international demand, mainly from Sweden and Saab. It won't be put into serial production because it is currently designed for testing different technologies for next UAVs and UCAVs. The Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group in China created the Chengdu Wing Long 2 Military, also known as GJ-2, with remote control or autonomous flight capabilities. At the Aviation Expo China in Beijing in September 2015, Chengdu unveiled the Wing Long 2 concept, a platform for surveillance, aerial reconnaissance, and precision strike. Wing Long 2 can launch long-distance attacks using satellite connections. It can fire air-to-air -air missiles and hold up to 200 kilograms of laser-guided bombs. Its maker claims that its battery life is approximately 32 hours having 4,000 kilometer range and a 370 kilometer top speed. The Northrop Grumman X-47B is a demonstration unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for missions from aircraft carriers. It is developed for operations based aboard aircraft carriers. It was created as a component of the DARPA GUCAS program by the American Defense Technology Corporation Northrop Grumman. The unmanned combat air system demonstration program of the United States Navy included this drone in a significant way. The X-47B is a blended wing, tailless jet-powered aircraft with aerial refueling capability. For the United States Air Force's low-cost Detritable Strike Demonstrator Program, which is a part of the USAF Research Laboratory's low-cost Detritable Aircraft Technology Project portfolio, Kratos Defense and Security Solutions developed and produced the stealthy Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie UCAV. XQ-222 was the initial name of this drone. At Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona, the Valkyrie conducted its inaugural flight on March 5th of this year. This drone is produced in large quantities quickly because of the low-cost detritable aircraft technology portfolio. The next-generation multi-mission ISR developed by General Atomics Aeronautical is called the Predator Sea Avenger. Its unique construction and quickness increase its capacity to survive in hostile environments and give users more complete quick response armed reconnaissance capabilities. The Avenger boasts stealth features like internal weapon storage and an S-shaped exhaust for decreased infrared and radar signatures. It is propelled by a turbofan engine. It can lift about 3 tons of ammunition and transfer an enormous amount of it. Likewise, aim the fire at the enemy using the electro-optical targeting system of the F-35 Lightning. The EADS Barracuda is a jet-powered unmanned aerial vehicle designed for aerial combat and reconnaissance. German and Spanish engineers collaborated to create the aircraft, which has an interior bay that can hold 300 kilograms of precision weapons that can be deployed at a moment's notice before an adversary notices the intrusion. The Barracuda was the first military drone of its kind in Europe, yet the project was abandoned after its inaugural flight in 2006. It can fly at a top speed of more than 1,000 kilometers per hour and has an endurance of about 17 hours. An extremely long-range, stealthy combat drone is the Russian S-70 Okhotnik. Both solo and joint missions with fifth-generation Russian aircraft like the Su-57 are possible with the Sukhoi S-70. It will fly next to the Su-57 and is a sixth-generation heavy stealth drone. The Okhotnik B has a flying wing design, a takeoff weight of around 20 tons, a top speed of about 1,000 km per hour, and an operational range of about 6,000 km. The drone is rumored to be powered by either the Su-35S Air Superiority Fighters engine or the more powerful AL-31F engine. Shenyang Aerospace University, Hongdu Aviation Industry Group, and Shenyang Aircraft Build Institute collaborated to design the stealth UAV known as the Hongdu GJ-11 Sharp Sword. The Hongdu GJ-11 Sharp Sword has a huge internal weapon bay and the ability to launch laser-guided projectiles, according to the Chinese description, which would likely result in performance comparable to other stealth drones of this sort. 
It has a 14-meter wingspan, a single turbofan engine, an internal weapons bay, and a stealthy propeller nozzle. Aksungur is the Turkish medium-altitude long-endurance, male, unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries. To make it more dependable and superior, this drone is designed using the already existing technology from the TAI Anka series of drones. It has a greater payload capacity for equipment suited to particular missions. It is intended for use as an unmanned combat aerial vehicle, long-term surveillance, signals intelligence, and sea patrol activities. Early in 2020, TAI planned to include armament kits and start producing the Oxunger. The MQ-9 Reaper is the first hunter-killer unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, in the world with long-range, high-altitude surveillance capabilities. In comparison to the MQ-8, the MQ-9 is a larger, heavier, and more potent general atomic aircraft. Despite not having the most cutting-edge technology, it is the drone that has been produced, accepted, and operated the most. The Reaper has evolved into the poster child of modern drone warfare with a plethora of improvements, a dozen pilots, and millions of flight hours under its belt. It has ended entire armed wars and sparked far too many disagreements to count.